A Field Guide to Worship. Chapter 1. Rituals and Followers. Ah, you're finally awake. Welcome to the great cult of Anand's Guide. You're alone here currently, but this cult will grow to become quite big and powerful thanks to your skilled help, hopefully. Being the leader of a cult comes with many responsibilities. You will have to manage your followers, order them around, and manage the rest of your cultist activities in order to ultimately end the world. It's a lot, but great responsibility means having access to even greater power. You'll get to invoke the Great One's power through the rituals you'll cast with your own blood, or the blood of your minions. By stabbing yourself, you'll be able to spill blood to create powerful rituals. But pay close attention to your health bar. It empties itself quite rapidly. You can always replenish your health by taking the blood you spilled back or by drinking from the fountains scattered around the world. The first and most important ritual that every cultist has in their arsenal is the conversion ritual. This will turn the feeble-minded to your cause. Every good villain needs mindless minions, after all. Now go forth, make the world tremble before Anand's guide. Chapter 2. Exploration and Combat With your freshly recruited cult members, you'll be able to spread your influence over the world by accomplishing many mischievous activities. By slaying enemies, completing puzzles, or even making offerings to your god. Every little deed you accomplish in this world, no matter how evil it is, will award you devotion. Growing your cult to massive size is important. The more followers you have, the more powerful your cult will be in the face of danger. And speaking of danger, here comes trouble. Command your army of followers to attack the enemy. This will diverge their attention from you and will give you plenty of time to invoke your dark and eldritch powers. Turn the tide in your favor by casting offensive rituals. You will learn to cast even more powerful ones as you explore the world and gain more power. Crushing the non-believers is one of the keys to obtain devotion and to please Anand's guide. Like any reputable cultist should, you can offer their corpses as a tribute to your god. The more bodies you burn, the better the rewards you will receive from your deity. Let's go back to the altar and see what we can unlock now. Chapter 3. Returning to the base. Your base will always be a safe haven for you and your cult. Make sure to come back often to replenish your health, make offerings, and upgrade your arsenal. The colored crystal your followers are holding is called a catalyst. It hosts a small insect-like creature that will transform under the right conditions into a building that will grant power to your cult. Each color is tied to a specific category of upgrades. Purple for cultists, gray for followers, and red for new rituals. If you find any precious items during your adventures, try to offer them to your god at the altar. This will please them greatly, and they'll reward you with many devotion points. Hmm. I wonder what happens when the bar is full. Chapter 4. Test of Faith You've been challenged to a test of faith. This is a special trial offered by your god. Complete it, and you will be one step closer to your ultimate goal, the end of the world. Praying at the altar will magically teleport you to the test's area. Amass a good amount of followers and get ready. I heard that the ones guarding that place are quite the dynamic duo. This is everything you need to know in order to become a fully-fledged cultist. I have nothing else to teach you now. Good luck. Worship is an upcoming multiplayer cultist game inspired by Pikmin. Wishlist on Steam now.